All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow, and of course, this is Detroit Rock City. All right. I don't know why that I draw so much um, negative attention or such a visceral attitude from the opposite sex. But I do know the facts that are going on today. So if you can, would y'all please just listen to me if you can try to listen because most people today don't want healthy, intelligent dialogue. What they want is debate. They want a bunch of hollering and screaming at each other, which ain't nobody's listening because everybody's too busy trying to get their point across. Nobody wants conversation today or reasoning together. So listen to me. You know just as well as I do, I don't mind. They got this thing called hypergamy, hypergamy, um, <coughs> the domination of feminism. You realize that that's what's going on. Also, there is a cause and effect to every single thing that we do in this world. And we're watching feminism literally implode upon itself and destroy itself. There are a lot of proud women out there. Very proud. But, you know, this morning I was looking at some statistics about all the female stores or stores that normally would get female business closing um, from Victoria's Secret to, uh, to the maternity, um, to the, the big overpriced mattress outlets, uh, clothing stores, uh, and even also, watch this, the effect is also the closing of Toy stores, baby stores. You know the reason why? Because whether people like it or not, feminism is not winning this battle. Uh, MGTOW and men going their own way is winning this battle. And the corporations are paying for it on a grand scale because not only do the majority of these stores employ female employees, but if their businesses are closing, then without the news media, the mainstream news media saying anything, without anybody articulating something, looking at the cause and effect of everything, then that means that there is a cancer, there is a moral decay, there is a spiritual bankruptcy that goes along with this decline, this social ill and decline. So they can continue to keep choosing feminism, rebellion, stubbornness, uh, equality, which I don't get that, I may get to it later, but the effects of all of this is that the corporations, the jobs market, and society as a whole is actually starting to suffer from this particular type of mindset or females who want to be dominant. Now, listen to me for a second. They can argue all day long that they're just as good as any man because I've often said, if you're just as good as any man, then you ain't no damn good because <laughs> man ain't no damn good. But when you look at the toy stores are closing. The maternity stores are closing. The baby stores are closing. The clothing stores are closing. The mattress stores are closing. All of these are stores that has to do with the institution of a family. And while they're very bold and forthright and forthcoming with their feminism, and they seem like having their way, especially with these unfair divorce laws that's going on here in America, and men are not opting into this Saddling up with the federal government or any government whatsoever at all, contracting with them, getting their marriage license. People are actually opting to live together and getting his marriage license because on both sides of the fence, the laws are just totally unfair, really unfair, disproportionately, <coughs> excuse me, disproportionately unfair for men. <coughs> and people are just simply not playing the game. So, the greatest form of a revolution, a silent revolution, is just simply by not participating in the norms of society. And we're watching the decline take place. When you see all these stores closing like that, and when you see all these places are closing, that means that feminism is not working anymore. Because who goes and buys those mattresses except married couples? Nobody's going to pay that much for an overpriced marriage except married couples. Who goes to the store? Uh, to actually buy baby clothing, except those who are interested in having babies. Uh, who goes and buys the majority of, or at least fund the majority of the lingerie at Victoria's Secrets 
for women to wear. Men do. And so they can holler equality all day long. But the effect is, is that the economics or the economy of the society and the world which we find ourselves in is suffering. Not only that, the jobs that employ the majority of the females is actually suffering, closing, going away. Um, you can continue to keep going on and on and on and on and on and on with this. Now, let's get to this gender equality thing. Well, I'm just as good as any man. Well, and then, you know, there's this argument out there that the feminists put forth that women are making a lot less than men for doing the same job. And, of course, it depends on what it is. Now, I don't know all of the corporate um, um, percentages or anything like that, but I do know this. I do that men, I do know that men do jobs that women don't do. As a matter of fact, the majority of men build. They work outside. Women mostly work inside. You don't see women out here on skyscrapers, building skyscrapers. You don't see them out here uh, being a brick mason or a block mason. And those jobs pay a lot of money. You don't see women out there. You see, if you do, you see like 99.9% .9 men and maybe a percentage of point zero percent of women. Why not argue about gender equality in that? You don't see women in the infantry out on the front lines getting shot and tore up and, and, and getting shredded to pieces and dying in wars like you do men. They're mostly in occupations in the army, um, even though they're trying to get them to women want to be on the front line, which I don't know. I think that's um, something going on up here. But when you really, truly look at this thing for the way that it is, there are jobs that that women are suited to do and there are jobs that men are suited to do. I'm not sitting up here saying that that a woman should get a woman should get on a skyscraper. She choose to get on that and get on out there. But men die doing stuff like this. As a matter of fact, men die doing more stupid stuff than women do because women are not wired that way. Just very few of them, but not many. So when you look at this thing the way that society is trying to construct our minds and the social ills that are going on today, uh, they're playing literal mental gymnastics with our minds. Uh, social media is um, actually getting a victory over all of this uh, because now, now there are more men that have more information, whereas they wouldn't have the information in order to know how to handle an aggressive woman. There are many men out there that are willing, philosophers, lecturers, educators, uh, true pastors, and, and, and people like that that are loaded with information that simply give it out for free in order to help. And then on the flip side, you have feminists that actually attack a woman who is feminine. I mean, when men come to me and they say, Pastor Dow, <clears throat> what should I look for in marriage? I say, look for a feminine woman. What do you mean a feminine woman? You don't want a woman that acts like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kids. You don't want a woman that will sit up there and aggressively stand with you toe-to-toe -to -toe and and trade words and argue and fuss and fight. That's an automatic get out of the AO. That's automatically save yourself situation. You want a woman who, who knows what it means to be a woman. And then on the other side, you got the alternative lifestyle where there's these people out here that want to be gender neutral. They want you to refer to them by pronouns. And when you see feminism, if that is a feminism, it's, it's a gross distortion form of feminism because if there's a such thing as defining what feminism is, these people are overly feminine which uh, a real true woman that has a feminine trait of being a woman by being less aggressive because she doesn't have testosterone levels as a man does, um, you, don't, you, don't, you, you don't see that exaggeration uh, put forth by a real true woman that is a feminist, that, is a, that has a feminist spirit, excuse me. So there's, there's a lot of exaggeration, and I happen to so believe that this is spiritually uh, motivated. That's what I truly believe. But that's me, myself. I believe that for myself. You can pick and choose what you want to choose. But I do know this. If society continues to keep going forward the way it is, the birth rate is already not happening. Um, Paul Ryan said, we need to have babies. And when he said, we need to have babies, he's not talking about me. He's not talking about me. He's not talking about my culture and my people. No, he's not. He's talking about the majority of the populace here in the United States of America simply because most people are opting out of it because they can no longer put up with the BS laws that are going on. They're not going to get into these court systems and have their whole life tore up, torn apart by these wicked, unproportional, disproportionate laws. 
that are actually against men to rape, rob, murder, and pillage them literally for the rest of their lives. And men are opting to jump out and go in other countries because they're not participating. Men are going their own way, MGTOW. They're not going to continue to keep having these babies, and babies are just not simply being born in order to keep this society going. So the decline and the destruction is real. I hope that some way, somehow, that I said something to stimulate thought, at least give you something to think about. Um, because whether we like it or not, the cause and effect of all these new ideals that's trying to be crammed and forced down our throat is bringing about an economic destruction. And that's the truth. And that's the truth straightway.